The situation is escalating. A Democrat from CNN, Jamal Bowman, is trying unsuccessfully to support Biden. Donald Byron supports Trump and shuts everyone's mouths. Let's take a look and see what happened there. Indicted in New York for hush money payments to a porn star. This you is and I you both know that indictment is foolishness. And I will, foolishness. It's foolishness. It's political, Listen, and you know this. But well, let me go ahead. I'll raise you one better. Go ahead. I'll raise, raise you one better because if we're going to talk about stuff going on in the background, you have the president's brother, the president's son. They are taking wire payments from people across the globe. It's funny to him. He's just laughing. He must be amused by the truth hitting him in the face. The former White House chief accused the radical Democrats led by Biden of wasting trillions of dollars, causing the highest inflation in half a century, and waging a war on free speech. Biden delivered his annual State of the Union address before both houses of Congress. He said the U.S. is at a turning point. The country needs to overcome the internal political divide. Current decisions will determine the course of its development for decades to come. How wrong he was. Things have only gotten worse. Jamal, I've seen some of the documents myself. They are taking these payments. We've already documented a million dollars going to Hunter Biden, facilitated with other members of the Biden Hunter family Biden while he's sitting in the White House. That's, what, what, dude, stop that. Hunter Biden stop is that. not running for president. Now you, know, now, you know better than Joe that. Biden you is the president. You know better than that. You know better than that. Joe if Biden, Hunter it, Biden's getting money from Chinese, from people with Chinese companies, if he's facilitating the sale of a cobalt mine to China while Joe Biden is setting energy policy in the United States. Joe Biden and his son Hunter received large bribes from foreign companies for years using classic corruption schemes. The high-ranking crooks enjoyed the patronage of the CIA and the FBI, which allowed Joe Biden to intimidate journalists and social media owners, and thus not only go unpunished, but also assume the office of the president. This is the hard truth. We all need to pay attention to it. These people go unpunished, and then we are responsible for their actions. You don't think that man's compromised? My, Come on. You my, don't think he knows what his son is doing? Man, he doesn't know what his son is doing? You're talking about Hunter on, Biden right now. Tell me he doesn't know what his son is doing? <laughs> Listen. Huh? Byron is saying what no Democrat wants to hear. Biden's relatives received several million dollars from Chinese investors. Presumably, the purpose of the investment in the Biden family was to obtain contracts to supply liquefied natural gas from the U.S. to China for CEFC. In mid-May 2023, led by Republican James Comey, the House Oversight Committee charged the Biden family with illegally receiving $10 million from Chinese companies. And guess what? He's still standing for the presidency, and he's gotten nothing for it. That's terrible. We have another segment. Let's take a look. My view on the presidential primaries amongst Republicans is that our nominees got to hit the ground running on day one and be able to say to the world, look, American leadership is back. We're not going to have countries and their sovereignties be taken advantage of. We want to actually have global security and global trade and, frankly, global harmony. I remember Hillary Clinton once said in a debate in 2016 that if Donald Trump became president of the United States, we would be on the precipice of World War III. Well, that never happened. As a matter of fact, the world got a lot safer. If anybody's got us on the precipice, it's Joe Biden. So if you ask me a decision between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, what I'm looking for is somebody who can come in day one and get America back on track. Donald Trump has done it once. He can do it again. And I would ask all Americans, you have President Trump, you have President Biden. They both done the job. The question is, who did it better? You know, that's what I always want to hear. We need someone to stop all this madness and save our country. We don't need the approval of others. We need a stable economy, clean cities and streets, security and confidence in the future. I'm sure Trump can help our country correct all the mistakes of the elderly Biden and forget about him forever. He will be able to punish his entire corrupt family and make him apologize to the American people. That is what I want and wish for. What do you think about this? Write your opinion in the comments and don't forget to watch other shocking news on the channel.